Welcome everyone to Sunday Theme Sunday at Record Store Store. <laughs> <laughs> My eye. Hey, wasn't that creepy, eh? <laughs> or just lame, I don't know. Uh, it, it, actually, the episode not scary at all. Why are we dressed the same? Why the hell is okay. We actually didn't plan this, it just, just happened. Just... We decided today that we're gonna tell uh, short stories that happened to us in a specific record store. This is gonna be the first edition yeah. uh, about our record store stories. It's not that they're very interesting stories. Yeah. It's seriously, it's us going to a record store and we bought vinyl. I'll tell you the story, what happened there, and the vinyls that came out from those stories. But at the end, you keep that vinyl because of the story behind it. Today's collection uh, was inspired by one of my favorite days. It, it wasn't, it wasn't extravagant. It was just. It was just an awesome day. So basically, this day I was I needed to go to Toronto to find a place to live. I offered to drive him to Toronto. He drive me to Toronto. Yeah, to check out uh, an apartment. So we were in Toronto, close to King Street. King Street, like Queen Street, they're known because some section of those streets are kind of bohemian, or they have like new stores with people that are uh, entrepreneur and they want to start the new businesses. And there are many record stores. They actually. There are many record stores there. There are many record stores there, and uh, actually, one of those record stores is top 15 record store to visit. It is funny because we actually didn't even get to go to that record store. It was closed. I, I still haven't been there. You've been to that. I've it's, been uh, there many times. It's called uh, Rotate This. Rotate This. We're planning to go back together to that record store, and the other one would be uh, Sonic Boom, another legend. For some reason, we found ourselves in from a, a place where we usually don't use to buy records. But that day was the exception, and it's uh, Organ Theater. Yeah, you know, usually the records are very expensive. Uh, we usually just never really plan to find anything there, uh, at least to buy. But they do have a good collection of new vinyl. Yeah. Um, so we're like, hey, let's check it out. Let's see, maybe they have something. Maybe something's on sale. And what to our wondering eyes we should have up here, but the clearance section. And this section was. Oh my god, it was magnificent. There was a whole rack of uh, vinyl. Each piece of vinyl was about $10. So I would suggest you guys to always check uh, that kind of stores, even when you're like, they're too expensive, I don't like, there are hipster stores. Urban Affair always has like a clearance section. I remember on that day, I, I wasn't planning on really getting anything on vinyl because- we, Yeah, I think we never planned. We, we, I didn't have any money at the time. What else are you gonna do? Yeah, I mean- I have no self-control. If life gives you limes. Limes? Limes. 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 I think it's lemons. If, if life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. If life like, gives you lemons, you just drink that shit. Drink a lemon? You have no. to make lemonade first. You know what I'm saying. I know, but what about I'm the lime? I'm the corner What about the, what about the lime? How many vinyls did you get that day? I, I don't know. We got five vinyls each. That day we had that impulse that I think I'm gonna buy something that I haven't seen before. A new band. Uh, I'm just gonna let the cover speak to us. Speak to us. Let's talk about the vinyl. Uh, that's pretty much the story. Let's see what we got. So we're gonna start with Ryan Haynes. All right. Uh, this is Blur's 1997 uh, self-entitled album Blur. Blur, blur, blur. Special edition uh, LP, which is 180 gram uh, pressing. And when I saw it there for $10, uh, I was like, <laughs> You get it? Song two. I got the Flaming Leaves, the Terror. Oh my goodness. 10 bucks, just for this record. Again, we have four sides. An amazing, brand new vinyl. Side D of the vinyl is actually a remix of pretty much the whole album. Actually, they're probably one of the best, especially contemporary bands that play with uh, vinyl releases. And the next one on my list was Franz Ferdinand's Right Thoughts, Right Words, Right Action. The uh, album starts off with Right Action, which is an awesome, upbeat song. It's a really upbeat album. The, the best song on the album, Stand on the Horizon, it's just, it's, it's a great song. And I love Franz Ferdinand. Um, we all do. We all do. In my opinion, they broke a fresh. Uh, sound from the moment they came out. I was lucky enough to see them playing live, and they're amazing. They're this is a great album. Big band. That's it. 
I don't know, we wanted to hear something new and at first of all, I didn't know this band very well. There was something and I was like, ah, why not, give it a try. 10 bucks, again, brand new. Macy Star with Season of Your Day. Yes, it's four sides. Ding! Whoop, there you go. But it's even cooler because of this. Drum roll, please. Purple vinyl. A really chill band. Um, I was surprised and I didn't know about them. Color vinyl, four size. I think that's a pretty cool deal, especially because it's brand new, never played before. I think I, yeah, I don't know. Uh, another 10 buck vinyl from the Urban Outfitters bin. Uh, Julia Halter's uh, Loud City Sound. An amazing album from 2013, highly critically acclaimed. It's just, it reminds me of all those times where you're just like walking alone in the city and you're just listening to the atmosphere of the city. My favorite song on the album is probably He's uh, Running Through My Eyes. It's just so haunting. Um, great album. Once again, a double LP. And it is clear vinyl. Not just so, look at that, I can see it. I can see it through my vinyl. I think this was one of the biggest surprises of that day, personally. For 10 bucks, I got this. Queen! For 10 bucks! Brand new! Brand new pressing. News of the world. With one of my favorites from Queen, my melancholy blues. We will rock it, we're the champions. The next one that we got, uh, we both picked it up. And it wasn't even $10. Two to three dollars for this little piece of vinyl. And it is this. What it is, it's Matador record label. It's a sampler. And so what it has on it is just a variety of different artists that are on that label. The reason, the one that bit, that stuck out to me was um, Queens of the Stone Age, If I Had a Tale, live track from the iTunes sessions. Another artist that uh, I stumbled upon on this album was uh, Kurt Vile, the song KV Crimes. Great song that actually kind of led me into discovering War on Drugs. Uh, Kurt Vile was a part of that band, uh, but funny enough, he was not a part of last year's 2014 album, Lost in a Dream. I think uh, more of record labels should do something like this. So, the last album that actually we both got it. All we knew about this piece of vinyl that it was originally like 47 bucks, um, marked down to $10, so... So, basically what we found is this jewel. I'm, I'm covering because the, I have to censor here. Yeah, there's a nipple. There, there's, there's a nipple right there. There's atmosphere. Seven's travel. Now, this is a special edition for the 10 years anniversary. Uh, Ryan, please show us how beautiful the vinyl is. Ooh. Ooh. Two white vinyl. Woo! Look at that leg. Uh -huh. We both ended up going home after this long trip, and we both ended up uh, dropping the needle, and we called each other. Like, <laughs> Did you expect it to be a hip hop rap album? We don't know every single band in the world. We can't. Uh, we didn't have contact with Atmosphere before. Now, there's a, there's another piece that comes with this vinyl. That is this. Wow. This is just instrumental songs. It's pretty cool. I love that. We saw this cover and that back. And uh, that's all the information we knew about it really, uh, besides uh, you know knowing it was white vinyl and it was so uh, very expensive and it was 10 bucks. Only 3,000 has been made and we got two of them. You have the number here and it includes your personal copy number, which in my case is 2586 and it's right by hand, actually. I got a 2503. We, we said to each other, if we sell Atmosphere, we'll cover the entire thing. Mm -hmm. But then we decided we're gonna keep it because of the, you know, the story behind it. And it was a good memory. So uh, it could be one of the most good, the important vinyls in my collection because of the cool story behind it. And it's not only that album; it's all the album behind it, like a Flaming Lips, uh, Matador, and all the other ones that we show you guys. Yeah. Well, we're trying to say with this video is just go out to those places that you probably are like with a phone. friend, with a friend that is, that is gonna be there to tell you just you get that, but yeah, just do it. Come yeah. On. And just go there, check those stores. That's part of being a record collector. It's part of the scavenging. Every record is a story. So let us know what you have, the story behind it. You can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. All the links down there in the comments. You can comment, like, share, subscribe, and uh, see you later, alligators. And ciao. Is there anything else you want to say? Sean Connery. Sean Connery. Sean Connery. Sean Connery. To the 
Delta Or I can have my fun I'm going to the Delta I'm dancing I'm dancing with a flashlight Okay, we're having too much fun with it <laughs>